What's up fam? It's your girl Sherry. This is Obsidian Text in Tangents and we are back with the bookshelf as the background. I am going to be reviewing Akata Warrior which I finished last week. Very excited about it. I filmed the Akata Witch review beforehand that I read. I read it in May I think. Watch my other video. I'll leave it linked down below and you can hear all my thoughts about that and when I actually read it and whatnot. But you know what? We're going to get the mood started. I'm going to light my candle. This one is called Kara. Um, there it is from Stella in the City Candles. It smells so good. And I prepared today and actually have my tea hot and ready. So let's get started. Okay, candle is lit. One day I'll do a whole video maybe talking about my candles. I actually have a ton in my house and currently all of them are still in the city because I burn my other ones and I love these candles. So mostly I've just been restocking with her, but we'll save that for a separate video. If y'all are actually interested in watching that, let me know and then I'll do it. Um, also today we're drinking African mint tea and it is delicious. Okay, so we're talking about Nettie Akorafor's book, Akata Warrior. First of all, Nettie Akorafor, if you don't know who she is, she's a Nigerian American author of African futurism and African Jujuism for both children and adult. Um, her works include who Fears Death, which is actually getting a TV adaptation. I'm really excited about it. I haven't read the book yet, but I am going to read the book for sure before the TV adaptation comes out. Um, I personally was introduced to Nettie's writing through her Binti novella trilogy, which is back here. I'm very excited. P.S. If y'all don't know, the bind up has a fourth very mini story in between the first and second um, novellas. So if you read them separately, like I did, you you may be missing a little something. Just BT dubs, shout out. Anyways, this, I think I gave every book in, no, I gave every book in Binti Trilogy either a 4.5 or five stars. I am obsessed with that trilogy and therefore, I'm kind of in love with Nettie. Um, I follow her on Twitter now and it's great and Instagram. So I do know she is working on the next of the Akata books. Um, and she's also written a bunch of other stuff and she has like comic book credits with Marvel and Black Panther, um, Wakanda Forever, Forever, Wakanda Forever, the Shuri series. So there's a lot also, she has African futuristic comics that aren't Marvel, like um, LaGuardia, LaGuardia? I actually don't know how to pronounce, I struggle pronouncing that word. It's the airport in New York. I don't know if that name is associated with anything else, but that's how I know it is the airport in New York. And I've flown into that airport and I still struggle with saying that word, LaGuardia. Anyway, anyway, you want to correct me down in the comments, go ahead, feel free. Uh, so that is who Nettie is. I did not even touch on all of her works. Look her up if you don't know. Um, but so today we're specifically talking about Akata Warrior, which is the sequel to Akata Witch. We pick up on Sunny Inwaze's story about a year-ish after the events of Akata Witch Inn. So Akata, or, so Sunny is now 13 years old. She has been um, hiding her, this new part of her life and a very big part of her identity from her family because she is bound to secrecy and 
when you break leopard law, it has dire consequences. So if you're going to do it, you be ready. Um, anyways, don't let me get sidetracked. So an overview of the book. I took some notes, so I'm going to look down to make sure I actually say what I want to say. Because I, again, I read the book. I finished the book uh, probably a little over a week ago. So also, actually, before I get into what the book is about, can we just note that since I started filming the video, the nighttime is happening, which is also why I lit this candle. I pretty much know that once I stop working, it's going to be dark in like 30 minutes. Um, so I, I usually like if I haven't lit a candle already, just to keep me focused, I light one now. So fun for all of us. Let's watch it get dark as hell while I talk about this book. Anyways, so Akata Warrior. We pick up a year, about a year after the events of Akata Witch. Uh, Sunny is a fully indoctrinated leopard person. However, she's still a free agent because both of her parents are lambs, which means they are non-magical. Leopard people are the magical people. If you don't know what Akata Witch is about, I'm gonna give the review as if you do probably so I might not explain everything watch my other video anyways <laughs> so um she's still very much a novice however she has a lot of learning to do especially just not only in her training because you know you train up levels uh in the leopard society but simply because of the fact that she is a free agent there's she started a year ago so there's 12 years of um leopard society and leopard history knowing that she doesn't know and that people who were born into uh leopard society kind of they grow up learning these things knowing these things so her oha coven aka her friends aka um orlu chi chi sasha they already know a bunch of stuff just about leopard society in general what's going on um so they have a little bit of head start but one thing i do like about her friends is that they're always very open with sharing knowledge and knowledge is key and it's money and leper society thinks that i enjoy anyways back on track overview um <laughs> so she's still a novice she's learning a lot she's under the tutelage of her mentor sugar cream who sounds like she sounds like some Nigerian women that I know, and I really like that about her. Sorry, I just realized my work computer sound is still on. Okay, <laughs> ignore ignore the sound of Outlook in the background. Um, it is after work hours. Uh, so yeah, so she's learning a lot from Sugar Cream. She's living her double life. So at 13 years old, Sunny is going to school all day coming home, trying to do her schoolwork, then going to um, have her, like, I don't remember how often they meet. I don't know if it's like, I don't remember how many times a week it is, but she goes to meet with her Oha coven in Anatov for their training. And then she goes to meet with Sugar Cream for her individual mentorship. So she's, and then she has to go home. Maybe she goes home and she is a very studious person in general she's also a very curious person <clears throat> so she goes home and then she tries to read her um book what's it called uh is sugar cream wrote the book hold on let me see if it's in my notes she tries to read her ncd book um and which is ncd is like this whole other language that you don't actually read it's like a whole thing i really love the way it's described i also think it's really cool also i want to learn it like if i was in this world i would if and then i found out about in um the language that's used in her ncd book if i didn't have the talent to do that i would be like really sad like how i'm always still sad that i don't have photographic memory <laughs> although chi chi and sasha do again still salty about it uh back on track so she is not sleeping a lot 
Um, and she started having these nightmares and, um, uh, but she's still at 13 year olds old managing all of this and hiding most of her time, most of her activities from her family. Her family has come to the point where they've stopped asking her what's going on. They've stopped asking her questions, but it's not, it's like, so it's very tense. Like I am very tense reading the tension. Sunny tense, I'm tense, her mama tense, her daddy tense, both her brothers tense. Both, also, her brothers are big assholes, but aren't they always? I digress. Come I have two brothers, so if you disagree, fight me. Back onto my summary of what's happening in the book. Okay, so we all stress with my good sis, Sunny. And one night, she is out um, looking for tainted peppers to make tainted pepper soup. Uh, because sugar cream has, uh, what's the word, baited her into being like, you like free agent, you too American, you don't know how to cook, like nothing, just talking mad shit, you know? So Sunny, who also yeah, doesn't know how to make it, is like bad money. I know how to make it. I'm, so she out looking for these tainted peppers uh, because it's like 2 a.m. So she can't really go buy them but she knows a spot um, where they grow. So she's looking for them. This mysterious ass lake appears and Sunny like, is this lake real? Was this just here? She's trying to figure out if it's here or not. And then she almost gets, she, this tentacles come out of the lake, grab her or is trying to grab her and pull her underwater. And basically that's when shit start popping off. You feel me? And we in this, we just like that, we back in this thing. So getting into the review, let's get into it. So no, the five star rating system, I made a video about how I rate the books or uh, moving forward so that the rating system actually is useful um, and keeps me standardized and honest. So the first category we're going to talk about is uh, setting and world building. So I love these books. I love Okata Witch and I really like Okata Warrior. Most of, well, not most of, but a major reason why I like them is the setting and the world building. I think that through my work and through my friendships, I've been learning quite a bit about Nigeria for the past couple years. Not like, not an expert at all. But it is also very cool to see Nigeria reflected in these books and to see the layering through Sunny's eyes of what things then be are common across the lamb culture in the leopard system. Okay, my phone cut off in the middle of me talking. So I forgot which part I was on. But I love the world building. I love the setting. I love the technique of layering the lamb society in the leopard society. Well, lamb culture, you know, over in the leopard society over top of each other. Um, Cause it's really cool to see that Venn diagram of customs and the i re, what i really like about akata warrior that we didn't see in akata witch is that they the oha coven sunny chi chi orlu and sasha travel around nigeria so they go from their town to lagos and then from lagos to ncd or not i'm sorry not ncd um Dang it, what's that place called in the book that they go to? The City of Smoke. I can't remember what it's called right now. Hold on. Okay, yes, so they travel to OCC, which is really cool because you can tell that they travel across also a large span of Nigeria um, in their travels. It's really cool to see like the underbelly in Lagos. Um, and the talk about traveling the roads, uh, if you don't know, I spent 
about a year living in Senegal and just to hear the description of Sunny and Orlu and Sasha and Chichi and um uh Sunny's brother Chuku driving on the roads to get to Lagos. I just had flashbacks. So it was really cool. Um feels very West Africa when I'm reading it obviously but I mean when I say it feels very West Africa when I'm reading it I mean that I am transported into some of my favorite things about living in Senegal and no they're not the same country but there are things cultural things that in like infrastructure things that are shared across West Africa um, that I am reminded of in when I read the book. So that was really cool for me when it comes to world building. Um, what else do I want to say about that? The on, the other thing that I want to say about world building and setting is it was really cool to experience the NCD book with Sunny and to learn things through that book. The way that book teaches you things is also really interesting and really cool, um, which is not necessarily about a setting as so much as it is kind of about a setting though, because you actually, the way you learn, it kind of is transportive. Um, I don't know if that's actually a word, but we're going to pretend like it is. Um, so it was really cool. Um, also really cool to learn about full places. So full star for setting and world building. Next is character development. Hold on sick okay muting my computer next is character development uh full star full star for character development we get to know more about sugar cream through the ncd book it's really cool uh she freaking grew up in a full well she spent a lot of her um infant child life in a full place being raised by leopard people who were um, monkeys and like a type of monkey. I don't remember if they were chimpanzees or what. I can't quite recall that detail, but that was really cool to read about. Um, and sugar cream is very interesting. Uh, it was, it's, I talked a lot about Sunny and her friends in my review for Akata Witch and their characterizations. Just know, I think they're excellent. If you want to hear me ramble on about that again, I'm plugging my own videos. Watch the other one. So, uh, who else? It's, oh, this is a thing that I want to talk about that's specific for this book about characterization. It was very interesting for me as a person who I have seven siblings, two of which are brothers, one of which is older than me, one of which is younger than me watching the sibling and familial relationship was very interesting to me and really made me reflect on my sibling relationships especially my relationships with my brothers and I tell you it's a it's it's very interesting it's also very much a good time um I'm using the word good time as a way to describe, uh, you know, self-examination, because that's why I think it's a good time, whether it's a good time or not. Also, let's note that it's black outside now. Didn't I tell you it was going to be black like that? And I have not been filming for 30 minutes. So uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, I will tell you. So the book is a full star for character development. I will note these, these are people who I would have liked to know more about in the book but it's not it doesn't subtract from the book that you that I don't learn a lot about them however I will say I'm very curious about them so I want to know more about them one Sunny's grandma I really hope we learn more about Sunny's grandma and our knowledge for Sunny's grandma is not just confined into what Sunny learned well not just confined into the whole black hat situation in book one and what Sunny learns about Gwensu in book two. 
Yes. So I really hope that what we learn about Sunday's grandma is not just confined to learning about or like the knowledge we gain about Black Hat Okoto in book one and what we learn about um, Akwensu in book two. And I really want to know more about her grandma. She sounds like a fascinating woman. I want to know more. I want to know about her inside. I want to know about what she was up to. Because I, if memory serves, she was also a level four leopard person, which is like top tier knowledge leopard people. Anyways, would like to know more. Nettie, please. Um, number two. I want to know more about Quinsu, like, which in that vein, I want to know about Anyamu's previous lives. Um, so if you do not know, all leopard people have spirit faces. Sunny's spirit face is called Anyamu. And previous life, Anyamu has gone up against a Quinsu in one. Um, Aquinsu's our big bad, by the way. Our big bad for Akata Warrior, Aquinsu. We saw her at the end of book one. She is a masquerade. Um, that is like, ah! Um, so that's, that's all the description I'm gonna do. Just the ah! So, uh, yes. Those are the people I want to know more, the most about more. I'm gonna leave that sentence just like that. Terrible English. Let's go. Uh, number three, themes. So my note about character development, I think actually fits better in here, which is a, the theme of family relations. Uh, it, it's very interesting. I'm not gonna, don't wanna go into detail about what happens with her brother. Nah, I ain't gonna spoil it for y'all. Nah, I ain't gonna spoil it. I really want to though. So I'll just meet, maybe I just need to have a discussion with somebody about it. But <laughs> I'm gonna not spoil it for y'all, but it is interesting. And I have thoughts and opinions about her brother. So there's that theme. There's the theme of self and how you, self and identity, I think are, very poignant themes throughout a lot of like coming of age stories because Sunny is very much on like a coming of age journey type of situation but what I I what is unique about Sunny's journey is the duality that exists and that her self identity journey is centered in that duality and her acceptance and understanding and of that again it ends up being very beneficial to her because low key high key she would have been dead several times in this book it was tense did i say it was tense we was tense okay it's like did we almost die? My favorite Sunny almost dying moment is a moment where you didn't realize she almost died until later when she's telling somebody the story of what happened and they were like, you know, when you got flicked, you were supposed to be dead though. You felt a little, <gasps> you were supposed to be gone from this world, okay? Anyways. <laughs> Let me get back on topic. Themes. Uh, oh, this is a smaller theme in the story, but I really liked the talk around shame and guilt and how that limits us. There's a whole scene um, and there's a whole character. It's a like a, a minor character where this is important kind of but i also think it speaks to other places anyways i just really enjoyed the dialogue around that so much and then the dialogue later when they're like oh you saved her and it was like actually no saved herself because that shame and guilt is what was 
keeping her stuck in that place. Anyways, love the conversation about it. Loved it. The last thing I want to talk about, mind you, these there's a lot of other things we could talk about, but I just want to pick out a couple ones that I just really enjoy watching unfold. Um, so the last one that I want to talk about is how history and legacy affects our present. Um, so there's a lot of history, both from people's family members and also their past lives that impact what is happening to them in the present. And I think that that is a very interesting and poignant and true theme to like life. And I also strongly suspect is going to be a main theme in book three because of the way that book two ends and that whole thing that happens with old girl and by old girl i mean the giant spider whose name i can't think of right now i digress the, i'm gonna what is that spider's name i'm i'm probably not gonna be able to figure it out right now hold on let me see nah um y'all don't need to know the name anyways y'all figure out when y'all reading the book uh but <laughs> But because of the way that ends with um, them and Chi Chi and Sunny, I don't know exactly what's going on with the Nim people, but something is going on and it is, there is conflict, okay? And now my, my, me and my children's venom is in your blood and we can find you wherever you go, okay? That didn't sound like a threat. It sounded like an appointment. So you best be on time, Chi Chi, with the goods. I don't even know what the goods are, but I am ready, okay? If it sounds like I'm ready for book three, it's because I am. Moving on. <laughs> to number four, my overall enjoyment. Obviously, oh, wait. I don't even think I told you how many stars we, <laughs> the last one's got. So re in review, setting and world building gets a full star. Character development gets a full star. Themes, full star, homie. Um, next, my overall enjoyment. Okay, so I really enjoyed the book. I think these books are not action books. So please don't think that they are. I know that I knew it was going to be one based on me reading Akata Witch. But again, I do think that the time spent, like the literal pages dedicated to... Um, the like big encounter fighting the big bad is fractional it's so fractional um and that i don't really like because it does the story is partially it's uh i don't want to say it's centered but it is like a driving it's driving force and moving the story forward and for the number of pages not to spend as much time on that I think is um not great and I also think that some of that could have been spent giving us more background on Aquinsu instead of just that Aquinsu is the big bad right because at this point in having read book one and two aside from knowing that Aquinsu has passed beef with Anyangwu Sunny Spirit Face and that she out here just a big bad we don't get a lot more of her motive we don't get a lot more of her story or anything like that um that i would have liked to have so i'm gonna give it a half star for my overall enjoyment because honestly i feel like to give full star i would need to give the book a five like that doesn't make sense with my new ratings and stuff to give it a full star, I think, to give it a full star, I would definitely need to not have an issue with like pacing and whatnot. Number five is would I recommend the book or who would I recommend the book to? That sort of question and whether or not I plan on purchasing the book. I am not planning on purchasing the book Ahora, Ima, right now. But I do plan on waiting into the series, like continuing to read the series and if I really enjoy them, to buy the whole thing. Like I did with Benti. Shout out to Benti. Excellent. Recommend? Highly. Highly recommend the book. Highly, highly recommend the book. I mean, I recommend the book if you're into fantasy, 
if you're into magic, if you're into any of the themes I mentioned, it's literally a good time. It's a good time. There, there is this book, the world building and setting and character development is so excellent that if you're into any, if anything I've said during the course of this video sounds interesting to you, I recommend that you read this book because maybe there's something else you can fight me on about the book, but I know what you're not going to fight me on about the book is the setting, world building, character development, and themes. That's what you're not. <laughs> I mean, you can try it, but you're going to lose. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> okay, so that's my review for Akata Warrior. I could keep going on about it but i'm going to not because my phone only has so much storage and it'd be getting mad at me when i try to film videos that are more than like 10 minutes long so doing calculations two, two, one two three four stars i am giving a kata warrior four stars um nope i'm gonna try not to give any half stars because i can't do half stars on good good reads so it's going to be a four star read for me. Also, that's probably a lie. I'm probably going to give stuff, things half stars. I give things half stars in my head all the time. Uh, don't listen to me. I lied just now. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to go. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment down in the comments. I love to talk to you about Akata Warrior. If you've read it, if you haven't read it, did anything I say sound interesting? If so, what was it? If not, shout outs for you for watching the whole book. <laughs> Leave the sun in the comments below anyways, because you stay in, you stayed through the whole thing. You might as well leave me a comment to let me know you was here. Leave me the sun because that's whole, that's like Sunny and Anyamu's thing, okay? And if you read the book, you would know more about those details. Also, I named one of my plants Sunny Anyamu after Sunny and Anyamu. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab it so you can see it. This is my plant that I named Sunny Anyamu. I don't know how to pronounce what kind of plant it is, so I'm not gonna tell you, but if you know how to use Google, maybe you can find it. But look at these pretty leaves. So it has this coloration when it gets a lot of sun, it'll turn pink like this. It can survive in lower light and the leaves will just all be green. But when it's thriving in the sun, it's pink. And because of her love for sun, I named her Sunny Anyangwu. Okay. Anyways. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. Thanks for watching my video. Like I said, leave me comments down in the comments. If you read the book, I want to know about it. I want to know what you liked about it. What's your favorite theme? If you haven't read the book, was my review interesting at all? What are your thoughts now having watched my review? And if you are still uninterested in reading the book, leave me a comment anyways. All right. Bye.